Hello, amazing people. Hey, it's Chris from the Charity Board Gamer. I am excited. Yes, it's not 10 o'clock in the morning like our normal live streams, but it is, of course, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, for those of you on the West Coast, like the amazing Anna Maria Jackson Phelps, who's with us here today, uh, it is not. It is still morning time for, for her. And for those of you who are watching from the UK, you're awesome. Just, just flat out, you're awesome. Uh, but yeah, thanks for coming on here. We're going to be playing Floriferous. This is currently on Kickstarter. You can actually play this game just like we're playing today on Tabletop Simulator. And you can then later on hopefully back the game, which is still on Kickstarter right now. So yeah, uh, I I'm going to quickly introduce everybody. And then we're going to kind of play and have some fun. So first off, I'm going to first say hello to Daniel and Allison of Kids Planning. Say hello. Hello. Hi, good morning or afternoon or wherever you are. <laughs> Oh, and I see some beautiful people in here real quick. I see Peter Riggs. Peter, you are just awesome. James Brazil. Hey, Peter. Yeah, James Brazil just always is just like saying hello to everyone. And he mm -hmm. really has been welcoming people wherever Discord, not Discord, what is this called? Twitch. Whatever uh, <laughs> Twitch chat you're in, he, if he's in there, he's always saying hello. Uh, we have Luna, Aspie Gamer Girl. If you have not checked out, hey, Luna. Hi. we've got to do something real quick because if you don't awesome know. Awesome person. Yeah, let me let me quickly do this. Boom, but yeah, Aspie Gamer Girl uh, Luna has done some amazing stop motion animation That's stuff amazing. with game pieces. Uh, so and fun. if you are not following her on YouTube, you need to be on her YouTube because it is so well done. Uh, yeah, and then just just all these other beautiful people that are on here. So thank you all for coming on. Um, next up, we have of course my all time favorite co host, also. He had just recently done his own Twitch streaming last night with a game of Sagrada. If you want to play along, you can actually go to his Twitch channel and play as well. And I'm going to give him a quick shout out because I love him so much. Justin, I totally missed it. I missed the time zone. Oh, it, it's it, okay. It, it, but hello, everyone. Bad. Thank you, Chris, for the shout out. Um, yeah. So last night was my first solo stream. I'll actually have it up on YouTube later tonight. So if you want to go back and play along as I played and compare your score to what I did. Awesome. I want to see if somebody can beat him in that game. I'm going to probably try to play it and beat him as well. And if you want to see if you can beat, uh, beat him in a score, then that's awesome. One of our biggest things that we like to do whenever we're playing a game between me and Justin is to see who does better. It doesn't matter who wins the game because most of the situations when we have somebody like James or Daniel or Jonathan or other people in the game, we usually lose. However, it what matters is who defeats who, who has the better score. Even in cooperative games, we've had that kind of playful na nature. So uh, that is one thing. So if you are interested or if you want to say, who do you think is going to win today between the two of us in a battle head to head, Team Justin or Team Chris, go ahead and put it in the chat. Last but not least, we have the fabulous, the amazing, the wonderful, I love her to death. She is one of the founders of Girls Game Shelf. She's been an amazing asset and community manager, marketing manager, kind of like a jack-of-all-trades, master of none for Pencil First Games. 
Um, if you have not had the chance to get to know her in this board game atmosphere, you need to because she is going to be leaving Pencil First Games uh, to actually pursue some beautiful things for herself and for her own uh, you know, wonderful state of mind and just being able to enjoy things. Uh, and believe me, I know that even though she is still present and will still be here in this atmosphere, a part of her will definitely be missed in my life. And that is the Anna Maria Jackson Phelps. Hey, everyone. I'm not too sure what to say after that introduction. That was amazing. <laughs> it's because you've just been, you truly have, um, you have been an asset to our community. You've been um, very loving and welcoming to all that have jumped into it. You have stood up for those who um, have not been able to have their voices heard. You've been there as a shield to protect others. You've been there as a sword to fight for others. Um, and you have been a mentor to a lot of people. So for, for that, uh, you deserve a lot of praise. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going right. to miss everybody. I'm going to miss this part of the, I mean, I'll still be on Twitter. I'm still going to be in some board game groups because I'm not giving up playing board games, but uh, yeah, I'm going to miss a lot of this. The industry has been great. The community is fantastic. It, it really has been. It, it's, it's a beautiful thing. And a lot of people here are already praising you and giving you love here in the, in the Twitch discord, which is good. Look at all those hearts. I love it. So good. <laughs> But yeah, so we're going to play Floriferous. I'm going to let Anna Maria Jackson Phelps uh, tell us a little bit about the game. We're going to play. I'm going to beat Justin, and then we're going to have a good afternoon. So. Oh, you think you're going to beat me? Oh, I you got to you got to earn it though. You you got several. You're still several games behind. I've got a couple game column. advantage. I'm going to let you know. I got a couple game advantage. Who won the last game? Beautiful. I'm talking to my wife real quick. Who who? You're putting. Oh, oh I haven't oh, even heard that. Oh. <laughs> and i'm taking i'm taking her out on a small date later i don't know how i feel now i feel i feel a little hurt well it, it sounds like you shouldn't have beat her at the game earlier oh i mean we we seriously she she is very much uh she is competitive a, a, as much as i am um but what's funny is like her competitive nature she is calm and collected as she does it like she'll play a social deduction game and mm -hmm. you can't tell if she's lying to you. And what's worse is she'll manipulate you into believing her. And it's it's just, it's so brutal. Because then when she reveals that curtain and reveals that she is the villain, oh my gosh. It's like, it's crazy. It's wild stuff. But yeah, it's, it's heartbreaking. <laughs> Love you, beautiful. She's actually helping out right now. We're actually working on our basement uh, to prepare. Because guess what? We're going to turn this space into a larger space with uh with a couple different cameras and different views and we're going to have it ready for our big live stream on april 9th and 10th for uh raising funds for the house of afros capes and curls and it's gonna be a lot of fun but yeah she is helping me because at some point we're actually going to put walls right now it's just kind of like hey there's the basement i'm here in this space so yeah it's it's wild wild stuff she is she's phenomenal she's the one that actually motivates me to get stuff done so thank you big hearts can we be team beth team beth oh everybody's team yep. beth now team beth <laughs> team beth all right sweet all right folks i'm gonna once again i'm gonna stop talking now anna maria take it away all right so today we're going to play a friendly game of floriferous um, this game actually, uh, you see on the thing it says two to four players and then solo play, so it's one to four players. It's got a really cool solo mode from Keith Mantega of Thunderworks Games. Um, and in this game, we're going to be collecting flowers and statuary and creating our own personal gardens from the flowers that are available. Um, and we, uh, we'll, we'll see how, um, uh, how peaceful the Florentress Garden will be today. Generally, this is a, a relaxing game, but we have found that the competitive nature of it can, uh, the flowers can be a little mean sometimes. So, and it's really fun. So we're going to hit, um, on the TTS mod, we're going to hit normal game. Um, and everyone's seated, so we'll hit start. And then there is a mini expansion available for this game, but we're not going to play it today. Today, I'll explain it in a little bit. It's it's really small, but it adds a really interesting twist. All right, and if you'll go ahead and hit green, I'll start so that everybody can kind of follow along. All right, we're set up for the four-player game. 
Um, it's always one card more than there are players. So the top rows are all flowers and then the bottom row are desire cards. Gameplay is very similar to King Domino where we are currently set in the order that we will play, but as we move along and choose our cards, the turn order is going to change because whose pawn is on top is going to change. So if this were what happened after the first uh, go, then pink would start, yellow would go next, etc. And I kind of forgot where everybody was, so I'm just going to throw you up there randomly and it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> So as we're going along these rows, the game plays in three days, and there's five steps in each day. We're going to choose flowers or statuary, or, um, or maybe we'll pick because of the bug icons, in order to fill the conditions on a couple of different things. On the top, there are the bounty cards. These are scored daily, and we're trying to collect the icons that you see on the top of the bounty cards. Um, the icons are on the flower cards at the bottom. On the left side, there'll be a flower icon and the name and the color. And not only is the color there, but each color has a different shape. So that if you have visual acuity issues, you can still tell what color it is by what shape it is. Um, on the other side, there may be a bug. And you'll see that reflected in the pictures too. The art's gorgeous. Um, and I think it's really cool. But I also appreciate that we have the iconography too, if the pictures aren't super clear for you, the icons generally are. So the icons are what we're usually collecting. And you'll see them once again on the bounty cards up top. So as we traverse the day, we're going to want to try and aim for getting things that are on the bounty cards up here. Additionally, at the bottom of the row and choosable each time you step is a desire card. And these desire cards are another end of game scoring thing. You'll see they have an icon as well. And then a number of points that that might score. And these can be a number of different things. With bounty cards, it's three symbols and you need to have three separate cards to, um, to fulfill those symbols. With the desire cards, it's generally just one and then either you'll get points for collecting the most of that type or um, getting all of them, or maybe it, it's colors, it could be the insects, it could be all the same insect, it could be all the different ones. As we step along, I'll explain them kind of individually, but, but as a general rule, that's what they are, is just, you know, it, they're rewarding you for having sets or being the most diverse. Now, uh, there are a couple that are flipped upside down. This is to kind of incentivize people not just taking the top row the entire time. Um, unless you like the taste of adventure and you want to draw blind, I kind of like it. Um, towards the bottom, though, there are stones. The stones reward you for having the most leisurely stroll through the garden by going slower than everyone else. And at the end, the stones themselves are worth one point for each two you collect. And whoever collects the most stones gets the cup of tea card because you had the most chill, relaxing day in the garden. So, or three days in the garden. Um, once we get to the end of five steps, we'll record on the bounty card with your little fleeples here. Um, we'll record if you manage to get symbols on one of the three cards. You can actually, sometimes maybe you can hit all three depending on what the symbols are, but there is space. <laughs> there is space for um, you to put on either the first day, second day, or the third day, depending on what day you get them. And all the ties in the game are friendly. So if, if I get and Chris gets and Allison all get the um, day one all at the same time, we all just get to stack on each other and we all get five. Now, the, um, the other scoring things come from inside the game. The flowers themselves and the bugs themselves do not score, but there are um, cards that are called bouquets. And on these cards, it has three symbols on the bottom. And you'll see that it has like one, three, and five on the other side. You're trying to collect those symbols. And on there, um, if you have one of them, you'll get one point. If you have two, three. And if you manage to get all of them, it's five. The difference between these and the, the bounty cards is that with those, you can use one card to fulfill multiple of the icons. So if you happen to have with that bouquet card, if you happen to have a tulip and it is yellow, you could use that to fulfill two of the icons that are on the cards. There is a little, I'm gonna throw it up here real quick. The player guide actually has all the iconography on it. Um, so if you, if something maybe isn't clear or what it is, then you can always refer back to that. And then the final scoring card we're gonna see here is the statuary. And this is just a most of, similar to something like Sushi Go. Um, whoever has the most statues gets the first uh, five points. 
second is third and last is first and this this is a tied thing too if um if two people happen to have the first one then they go through five points and that's really the entire game so we're going to go through have a day um pick our flowers check and see if we score any bounties we'll go back again check again we'll do the third time we'll check one more time for bounties and then we'll score up all the rest of our points questions i'm ready sure <laughs> all right well, I'm going to dive in then. And if anyone in the chat has questions, please feel free to just throw them up there. And I'm sure someone will poke me and, and remind me to look at the chat. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you to Two Sheep, One Wheat for following. Um, I'm guessing, is that a Catan reference? I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Yes, that is. <laughs> two Sheep for One Wheat. Want to trade? Maybe, maybe yeah. they're a sheep yeah. farmer. You don't know. Yeah, it could be farmers. <laughs> yeah, know. We could always, could always trade sheep for wood. That's always nice. <laughs> And I see Julie's in here. If you have not checked out uh, Kawaiju Plays, uh, I did put that in the Twitch uh, chat as well. Uh, she does some amazing, like, I loved her Animal Crossing stuff last year. She she got started into that and started doing a lot of Animal Crossing things, inviting people from the community to actually come and play and actually come to her, like, little village. I don't know how to play Animal Crossing that well, but, uh, yeah, very cool stuff. That's so. really cool. Animal Crossing was, like, the hot uh summer game last year <laughs> all right i'm ready you're going okay. down justin i'm not going to play <sighs> as competitive but i might be playing a little you, competitive. <laughs> you know what we're doing yeah. I figure, you, you can't ever with... turn it off you're always competitive <laughs> against me so yeah it's true it's i'm so gonna true. have the most relaxing stroll put it that way okay you can that have as much nice. don't get me wrong don't get me wrong those stones can really make a difference that two point difference at the end I think the game that Beth, Abigail, and I played was 35, 33, and 30, 30 points. That was yeah. a ridiculously close game, and it was the stones that made the difference. So, yeah. I think it's well balanced, and generally the pointage is under 40, so a couple of points can make a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so I'm looking at the symbology here on row one, and then I'm looking at the county cards. Um, lilies are going to be big. They're on two. Tulips mm -hmm. are going to be big there on two as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start by taking, because this lily card also has a bug symbol in the corner, I'm going to take that one. Okay. Oh, and gameplay is all on the table. So this is where the kind of mean flowers comes in. You can see what someone's collecting and building towards, and you can throw in a little mean drafting if you want to. So mm -hmm. if Good. you're that type of player. So we can take any card on the left column? Yes. Yes. Or this, should we take this one right here? No, you no, know, okay. I'm going to just slash yeah. row. Okay. And, and this column helps dictate the turn order for, for the mm -hmm. next turn. Yeah. Gotcha. It does. Like, you can yeah. even take, even though it's shaped differently, the butterfly in the bottom, the desire card is also available. So if you think that you're going to be collecting butterflies, then. Okay, so we do take, that's not for the whole table. That's right. someone takes that. Okay. That's perfect. Oh, yeah. I misunderstood that. Yeah. Okay. The desire cards yeah. are great. So oh, we, dude, I like that. Yeah, the desire cards mean a lot. What's the symbol on the tulip? Yeah, so it doesn't have It's a like tulip. <laughs> yeah, two of the. This is the pink one. Yeah. Let's keep it. Taking the pink one. There we go. Okay. And then we put our little yellow pawn. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, Justin, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Hold up in this corner. It begins. All right, yes, and then yes, let's begin. let's... on this up here on the cards at the top we get five three or two based on how many of those how does that work at the at the end oh, of the day so once we've stepped through all five of these cards we'll check mm -hmm. to see if we fulfilled any of these so if if for example with the first card if i have a lily a mum, and a tulip i can put my little flea fall on day one so, okay. and here it's two lilies and it looks like a ladybug. And then the last one's two tulips and the daisy. So I will say, I find it's kind of hard to fulfill on the first day and certainly more than one on the first day, but usually by day two, you've built up enough stuff mm -hmm. that you can cover one or two. All right, and yellow goes first now. Okay. Um, do it's it, just... do it. You know you want the random card that you have no clue what it is. <laughs> it can't be anything. It can be amazing. It Daisy, it yeah, the Daisy. Anything. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see. 
a flower fanatic myself, it's going to be really hard for me not to be like, but these would be really pretty together. I think right? I need one of these. <laughs> From creating the perfect bouquet, I actually <laughs> want a pink These coffee. colors really complement each other, so I need these. And, <laughs> the, and the day is going through all, all five. five. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, and James well, has said that Anna Marie will score like three on round two. So we gotta keep an eye on her. Apparently, what was it? What was it? Was that a tiger lily? lily? Yeah, it's another lily. The lily. Okay. I love the art in this game. This is watercolor by Clementine Campardou. Um, and if you'll look closely, like all the different colors of flowers are also entirely different paintings. So she didn't just take like one mom picture and then color it orange and color it white and whatever. Well, I mean, and she really couldn't have, they're all original watercolor work. So it's not digital. She actually painted them and then we digitized them for the game. That's amazing. I think they're gorgeous. I would just yeah. like look at the game. <laughs> for me, I love the, I remember the big thing that stood out to me too is like that. I do really like the symbology because it makes it easier because Sometimes I would get confused by the colors of the mom, like give example, the moms and the lilies right now, like the colors, like that was one thing that for me, it was a little bit harder at points, but I like that, uh, that it's a little bit easier because you you have like the diamonds versus the squares versus the circles and, and the, uh, was it the Pentagon, the pentagons, which it, it did help out a lot. I, the symbology to make it easier both for people who have um, visual acuity issues um, or maybe colorblind, um, that was really important to us. Additionally, making it so that you didn't have to read English in order to play the game, you can entirely play just by the iconography. Mm-hmm. So if you were playing with someone who maybe was older and English wasn't their first language, or if you were playing with somebody who couldn't read yet, um, it's still accessible to to family members, young and old, and I think that's pretty awesome. Yeah, it really is. All right, got to choose my bouquet. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. All right, so the so this up here, when we get all three of those, we put our flower on. Not it. at the end of the day. At the as soon as we achieve that. No, as, at the end of the day, we'll actually stop before okay. we turn over cards at the end of the day and um, and check and see who's got it. And we'll do it then. So how does how does the five, three, and two, I'm, I'm confused on how this score. So on day, day one, day I would one. get five, oh, but on day two, okay. I would get three and on day three. Yeah, okay. um, the reason you wait until the end of the day is to make sure that, that those days are correct. Um, it gets harder if you put it down when you first get it. Sometimes it's like, okay, but was this day two or day one? Like, which points do I get? So if you wait, Mm. yeah, it helps. Okay. Okay. So multiple people can score that on day one. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Okay. Okay. And family yeah. meeples in here, they are just wonderful people. That, if I'm correct, that's Allie from, uh, Allie, from yeah. Family Meeple. Ooh, nice. I got something. Hey, fancy. friend. But so we can score any of these at the end of any day. Is that right? Yes. Okay, so, okay. I thought this was day one, day two, and day three. Yeah, I did too. I was... Okay. No worries. I probably wasn't clear. I was, and I was, I was just, I was trying to process your question for a second because I was like, okay, wait. Okay. Yes. Okay. Not yes. <laughs> okay. So, what are the other cards? What is this one that Ooh, I'm looking at? The, with the bumblebees and the bouquet and the water bucket. Is that a wild? No. Um. So that That's is the bouquet. bouquet. Um, this, this scores like a personal bounty in a way. Um, so with your bouquet, for example, if you don't mind moving your hand just a second, so I can look at the iconography. Um, so on this one, you're going to want lily, purple, and butterfly. Um, and if you have at least one, you'll get one point. If you have two of them, you'll get three. And if you have all three of them, you'll get five. And the other nice thing about the bouquet cards is not only is it personal to you, so haha, nobody else gets it, but um there can be a card that fulfills at least two of those things so if you have a purple lily you'll all automatically get three points for that card because of your bouquet wait yeah okay, you said Daisy. lily purple and butterfly i think we're looking where, at a different card where are you oh okay i'm sorry i was down here with this where are you oh i was on this one right here okay so in this case it's um daisy okay. white and bumblebee 
Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I want that. I think one. she was looking at Chris's card. I was. Yeah, I want that one. Okay. Okay. And just for clarification, the the personal one at the bottom of this column, mm -hmm. what does that symbol? Same represent? color. So, so just all same flowers, color? all of the same color. Yeah, you'll score based on how many of them you have. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this just adds one more time. This it's the the one we, we satisfy that. What is the one, three, and five scoring on this? If Since we, it's just ours. If we yes. have one, two, or three elements of it, we get one, three, or five. Right. Points. So okay. if um if you have a single bumblebee, you'll get one point. But if you have a white daisy, then you'll get three points. And if you have a white daisy and something with a bumblebee on it, you'll get five points. There is no one single card that fulfills all three things on a bouquet, okay. though. And is so that at the end of the day or at the end of the game? End of the game. Okay. Yeah. So just looking to get flowers that, or cards that have all those symbols okay. by the end of the game. Yeah, I generally, as a rule, kind of try and work towards my bounties the first day and a half, two days kind of thing, and then start rolling, especially in that last day. Since the flowers themselves don't score you any points, um, picking up one or two of the desire cards or bouquets will kind of inform your strategy as to what else you should be collecting besides just the bounty cards. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, and I think pink is our first player. First of that's me. Yay. Uh, oh goodness gracious! Um, I want the look. Goodness gracious! Great balls of fire! <laughs> I heard it too. <laughs> I'm taking the lily. All right, I'm gonna take this mum with the ladybug. And the bouquet card does not count towards the bounties at all. No, it's just okay. a single. Yeah, it's just like a personal, a personal bounty card. If you want to think about it that way. We have a mum. Yeah, we need that? this. We need this lily. Yeah. Personally, all my lilies are starting to come up. I'm so excited <laughs> down by my pond. Oh, that's nice. We um we just moved into the house in late fall, so we had no idea what's in the yard. So to watch things just pop open, it's like oh, rhododendron, hooray! Like yeah. that's what happened when <laughs> we. Oh, my tulips came up. Yeah, He's just showing me pictures of my tulips by the, nice. uh, the <laughs> mailbox. We moved here, and the previous owner was very eclectic with his flowers. Neat. And so we got to find and discover like all kinds of different irises <laughs> and daffodils and all kinds of things. It's a lot of fun. That's fantastic. I love that. Okay. So that top card is a sculpture, correct? It is. And currently you would be the only person with the sculpture. So you would be getting five points off of it. And uh, if I no one no... else like <laughs> Chris sneaks in and gets any more. Yeah. I see no reason not graduate? to take it. <laughs> the rock or the stones, stones the more stones okay. you get mm -hmm. you get bonus t at the end is that what i remember correctly if yeah the, the actual rocks the mm -hmm. little rock um tokens mm -hmm. yeah the person with the most of these at the end will get the t okay all right so we've reached the end of our day so we're going to look to see if we fulfilled any of the bounty cards so for example if we look at mine i have a lily a mum oh, and a tulip pretty. So I got five for the first one. However, I, let's see, two tulips and a ladybug. Yes, I did that too. So I have, no, that's two lilies and a ladybug. Two lilies and a ladybug. I got that one as well. Mm. It's two tulips and a daisy. And I only have one tulip and no daisy. So I did not get that last one. And make sure these symbols all need to be on different cards. For the flower ones, obviously, that doesn't mm -hmm. matter. But for example, if I had, if these two lilies, if one of those had had the ladybug on it, wouldn't have counted. It has to be three cards. I see that. Mm -hmm. All right. So we need a tulip. The tulip was a, um, was a hot one. <laughs> okay so now that we've all checked i'm just going to go over to the floor first box and hit clean up day one and set up day two and Ta -da! yay yeah nice. i love the scripting mike belsel from the tabletop mentorship uh program did the scripting for this nice. and actually most of our games and <gasps> they're amazing and now we don't even have to move our pawns we'll just go back the other way and this is our turn order because that's how we ended Okay. Oh, cool. I like that. 
Yeah, way easier to remember than wait, who was on that? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what just came out. I think I will. Really? Go down for okay. that one. Uh, I am going to. What was that, Chris? Did you go, oh, really? <laughs> I was just like, really? All right. That one has a humming birth moth on it. I, oh my gosh, the art is just. I know, right? Uh, I love that we have the symbols on them, but if you check real closely, there's always a bug on ones that have a bug icon on it. So you just have to like hunt and find it. And mm. they're so amazing. And this one down here is for at the very bottom is for different colors. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Should we take this one? <laughs> Don't really need any of those. Okay, that works. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. All right. I think I'm gonna do the boot bouquet. All right. And I'm gonna go boot. ahead for my next turn. I'll take that and go right there. All right. Hold on. I'm still okay. walking around with my cards. Okay. Right, there we go. <laughs> oh well, the adventure. <laughs> See, it didn't help adventure me much on my works. my adventure, but nice. it was it was worth it. Yeah. Uh, th there's always appeal in the unknown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Into the unknown. <laughs> All right. <laughs> mm. The stone the stones have random hue colors on them. Does that mean anything? No. Okay. They're just different pictures. Uh, all right, I'm gonna take a violet baby. Where are you going to go, Justin? Mm. I'm looking real quick and verifying <laughs> what they are. Okay. And if I need to plan ahead as part of it. No, you never need to do that. <laughs> oh, no. It's overrated, no. dude. I'm not even looking at anybody else's cards. I'm not even going to hate draft today, even though I want to sometimes. <laughs> I'm uh, not yeah. going to hate draft at all. I am just going to play. Don't gonna... believe you at all. <laughs> no, you can actually believe me this time because if you look at the screen. Beth is in the room Twitch, with them. Yeah, He's playing nice. I gotta play nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to play nice. Okay, I am taking this card and going down here because that's what I yeah. desire. That one we... That's a mum. Yeah. I think I can't tell by the symbol. Mum's the word. I rescued a mum a few years ago from Home Depot. It was in like the it's dying, so we need to get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It was it was a lion's mane mum. I've never uh, seen one. It was a oh, wow. giant and it was gorgeous when it came back. Fantastic. I've been trying to find one ever since and I can't find one. They're so resilient. That's one of the, the big appeals to me is you can you can almost abuse a mum and it still comes back even back. more beautiful. Yeah. My mm. mom, well, we had a big freeze here this winter, and none of her stuff is, all of her flowers, her uh, perennials aren't coming back. Oh, no. What'd you get? What'd you get? What, what is it? Annals. Daisies. What is it? Okay. I can't remember which is which right now. Um, How are you organizing? What are you doing? Two looks. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. You didn't give me much to work with here, but I'll take a stone. Stone sounds good. And I'll go here. Be last to go again. All right. All right. Last step of the second day. I think yep, this is what I planned for <sighs> to get that. Mm -hmm. sure. yeah. How does the statue scoring work? 
One, two, whoever has the most the gets the five, bank. next most gets three, oh, and yeah. the least most gets one. You have to have at least one, though. You can't just be like, well, I'm the least, it's zero. No. Yep. <laughs> so currently, like me that. and yes, Chris have one each. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, and Nomi Boy is up for grabs. I think okay. I want Nomi Boy. Uh, nice. There's no place like home. All right, I'm taking the Lily. Interesting. All right. This makes for a very interesting game right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and then day two, we're gonna check our bounties again. Um, obviously, if you've already gotten ones on the on day one, you're not gonna move in get day two as well. Um, you already fulfilled that, but I still didn't manage to get a tulip, so I don't have anything on the last card. We have two tulips and a daisy. Mm -hmm. We don't have what is that? We don't have a ladybug. No, and we only have one lily. Okay. What is it? Hold right. on. Let's see your two sure. tulips and a, what was it? A daisy? I don't have it. I've got two lilies and what's the thing that's with the lilies? Um, um no, but to, it's a ladybug with two lilies. Ladybugs. Do I have a ladybug anywhere? I don't think I do. I am not as adventurous with bugs. Now we only have oh. three little flowers to put on there for day three. What do we do? Is it we only choose three that we fulfill? Well, you want, you'll if, when if you, you once you've fulfilled you it, you fulfilled it. Mm -hmm. so, oh, you, you, oh, okay. Yeah. So when, if you've got it in a round before, you don't put another one on it. This round. I thought, right. Did you put two yellows on ours? Or no. I thought I saw two yellows. Nope. All right, I have it. All right, here we go. It's the final countdown. Final countdown. Well, hey, Baloo, what you got? Well, this is what I was hoping. Oh, it's to some extent, so oh, I, I, I can't I ignore it. I that. see. So, oh, I'm not going to be competitive against Chris. So you're going to be competitive against me. I see how it is. Okay. Wow. All right. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wait. I came and I taught you this game, and yeah. Wait, wait. wait you're saying I'm being competitive against you for what? Yeah, I needed that. Well, I needed it for the butterfly and the tulip. So, and, so it fulfilled two things for me. So mean. You oh. take it for that next time. Oh. Okay. Okay. It's my turn. Crud. Um, what do I want? I don't want any of these. Oh, <laughs> gosh. All right. All right. I got to think here now. This is not, this is not a good situation to be in. I'll take this so I can just get it out of the way and get the stone. All right. <laughs> James, don't you be calling me out. <laughs> greeting, greeting cards is yep. like you do this art for greeting cards. All right, All right. Let's see here. So pretty. Okay, my turn again. All right, now what am I gonna take? Because I don't know. Yeah, we do. Is there a lady uh, behind? Yeah, uh, uh, Clementine is only actually given. Uh, Ed has the one uh, original that she's given up, so she's she's kept all the rest of the originals for this. So be interested to see she may offer them as prints in her store later this is the first board game she's ever worked on she used to work for um folks like prince um she designed one of his studios and did a big watercolor book of um pictures from some of his con concerts she also does a lot of uh, superhero work as well she's got a watercolor of wonder woman just blows my mind so that that watercolor awesome. is so amazing i love watercolor. Yeah. it's so beautiful it really adds it's to my... this theme being relaxing i think yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What is this one on the next to last row at the bottom? What is that one for? This one it's here. Potted plants. No, um, just that is the flowers of, and I can't see if it's an equal sign or same flowers. Equals, so it's the same flowers. Okay. Yeah. Just same type of flower. Mm -hmm. All right. What you doing, Blue? Mm -hmm. Oop! There's a statue. Yeah. Do I want to take that statue so Chris can't have it? <laughs> or... Nav is playing competitive. Oh. And on that one, do you get to score for each set of the same type of flowers or just mm -hmm. the most? The... Just the most. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't ignore it. It also has a stone. Yeah, and like I think three of you had um, one statue at that point, so that was a pretty yeah. big point swing. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I couldn't ignore that. Um, maybe the ladybugs. Like, I had other ideas, but I, I don't think it was the best. Any of those oh, cards. 
Hmm. Hmm. Might be one on that one that's upside yeah. down. Okay, we're gonna take. Oh, it's upside down. No, nope. <laughs> okay. No, yeah, statues it. and features oh, wait, and stone should not be over there. No, that's, wait. Not, that's not the one I want. It's not? <laughs> oh, it's not? Nope. Uh, no. Oh, there that's oh interesting. Ah, oh, yeah, there you okay. go. Okay. Okay. Uh, All right, yeah, put okay. our yellow one on uh, that hmm. spot. Okay, just so I can do it, and so that way I get first on the next turn. I don't even care about that flower. Boom. <laughs> oh, you should care about all the flowers. You should care about no, the flower. I'm sorry. It is a pretty I'm sorry. poppy. I, you know what? It might be a pretty poppy, but you know what? Eh, eh to the poppies. I love poppies. Now, now tulips. Yeah, loving the tulips. <laughs> but I mean, I don't, I don't like poppies at all. Aww. What? That's so sad. No, no reason. No reason. Oh, reason. just just because. <laughs> Didn't the the poppies were the ones that were enchanted in uh, Oz? Yeah. I don't know. Put her to sleep. That was the first well, time I ever heard right, of poppies. Was when she was <laughs> That's because yes, they put you to sleep in real life too. So. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there we go. And let me take that and go down. You know what? I don't want that one. No, I don't want yeah. it. Yeah. Sorry, you took your finger off it. Yeah, you, you, you don't, don't you let go. Of don't the, you tear sorry. it. You let go of the card in your play area. <laughs> Ugh. All right, chat. Okay, what am I doing? Chat, what am I doing? Am I keeping the card? What was that the I card took? you were just on a second ago? Uh, because I want this one instead. That one. That's... I want. I want my mom's. Thank you, James. I think this combination of designers puts out some really great quick but thinky games so yeah. um up until this point herbaceous oh, has probably been my obvious. favorite simple first game but i think this one has won my heart so yeah well that 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 um the little pocket herbaceous is adorable too yeah. like that's one that beth and i we we just sat like we sat upstairs on our bed and we just played it and it was so much fun so it's just so we have not had the chance to play that yet which is so sad i love herbs and all of the all the cards and art that goes with that too. Let me play that one. A good one. That's actually herbaceous. Was actually why when Ed was asking for a social media manager, why I uh, emailed him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, hey, I like your game. I'll work with you. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, Blue, it's your first. All right, last step, last day. What uh, last step of last day? Ooh, this really? plays really quick. It you does. Just, it plays very quickly. Mm. You had to take that card. But well, I think there's a wrong? lot of thinking you want that still goes on in it. Did I want so... that card? Yes, I did. But you know what? Well, I'm I didn't know you didn't. Because I want the tulip. You didn't tell me you wanted that card, okay. so how would I know? It's... You know what? I wanted that card. You suck. I love you, sir, but you suck. All right. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> See, he only Strong says words. this when he Strong feels words. threatened like he's going to lose. Wait, did Beth go back upstairs? No, Beth's still down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's some of their tasks I do. All right, so we're going to check our bounty cards one more time. I okay. still did not get a tulip. So, um, so James, I know I've I've ruined my streak, but I did not get all. Do I have a ladybug? I think I have a ladybug on one of these cards. Let me see your ladybug, ladybug. Right, tulip, tulip. Yes, I do have a ladybug. Sweet, tulip, I've got that one. And that let me scroll up. Okay, you grabbed. I got it on the third day, and I think I've got what is that last flower on the third bounty? Just, uh, Daisy. Uh, Daisy. Uh, uh, yeah, tulip, tulip, Daisy. And I just couldn't. The tulips kept being taken by Justin. No, so I didn't. I'm not bitter. <laughs> I'm bitter. <laughs> well, that's that's one of us. I am bitter with Justin. Well, but I intentionally um, got that last tulip so I could get that last. Three, so mean. I wanted that. I wanted that specific color too. <laughs> but um, no, I did not get the. Uh, I did not get the thing that I was wanting. But All right. Now good. here's the fun part of the TTS version. Mm -hmm. Oh my yes, gosh! Oh, cool. Nice. Oh, yeah, isn't that great? Oh, they aren't so available in the actual game <laughs> box, but it makes the TTS so much easier because mm -hmm. you're playing online. You don't necessarily want to go find um, a piece of paper. paper. Yeah. Right. All right. So we're going to go, I'm going to walk through mine and then that way everybody will see how it's done. So we're going to start with sculpture cards. I have none. Okay. I have I think, three. Yeah. Justin has the most. And then uh, did y'all tie with one? Yeah. yeah I, I think they tied with one. one. Okay. So Justin will get five points and the people with one will get three points. Oh, cool. Huh? Yeah. All right. 
All right, so next you're going to go to your bounty cards um, and count up. If you scored on day one, that's five points. On day two, it is three points. And on day three, it's two. So I get ten points. Ten. I get eight. I get a good old seven points. Yay. Nice. Um, five. five and five. Arrangement. Eight. Arrangements are your bouquets. Uh, let me see. If so just figure out how much you fulfilled in each of yours. I fulfilled them all. Yay. Five points. <laughs> nice. Okay. Desire cards is where it's at. Yep. And I've got one, two, three, four plus five. Six. Ten. 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 Or the, Sorry, no, yeah, they don't the arrangement color. cards don't count as a color. No, okay. they're all. That's why all the, the the arrangements are all different colors. The stones. stones they're two. Two gets one point. Two for one, right? So two stones is one point. We round down. So, so I'm two. guessing we just have yeah two. And then who has the most stones? I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six. I think Chris wins the game. All right. So that's Correct. one, two, two three, plus. So let's see here. So that's three and two points for my T. There you go. Well done. Nicely done. All right. Oh. And that's the entire game. Justin, I what like color it. are you? Justin? I'm blue. Okay. I get to take this in. <laughs> go for it. Oh, see, I feel so I had good. the I had the most leisurely stroll, like I said I was going to do. That's good. I, well, we got oh, in I, second I, place. I'm okay with you having the most leisurely yeah. stroll. It, it felt great still. At least I can still say I beat you in a game. So <laughs> It's okay. You need several games to catch up, so oh I'm not gosh. concerned. Oh, wow. Um, I think, hold on. I think the tally now is 16 to 14, and I'm only two behind now. Oh, wow. <laughs> Justin. You still have to catch up. I will get there. I will get there. Like I swear. Good. I swear and, I will get there. But no, I and, love the fact that in this TTS version that there's little scorecards. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah that's really awesome. <laughs> yeah, I think it's really helpful. Um, and, and it helps to teach since, yeah. um, you know, we haven't been able to actually demo anything in, in person for a long time. I think yeah. TTS is really moving into a great demo space. And so I think this helps. But you'll notice that the score, so um, none of you had played before. Chris, actually, had you messed with this one yet? I've played before, so I did not okay. do as well as what I could have done. Had yeah. I, had I, had <laughs> right. I stuck with tulips and not had them taken away from me, I would have had a ridiculously good score. Because <laughs> that's what I did before. One time before, it was desire and color. And if I kept, if I kept it around that, I think I could have definitely gotten some serious points and bro yeah. broke at least possibly 35 would have broken 35 at least but yeah but so. you'll see that the scores still aren't like so far oh. apart that it felt like mm -hmm. anyone entered the last day and couldn't pick back up and win no the right? desire the desire card you, your desire cards is what what like pulled you through like yeah so. and i picked up all the mm -hmm. desire cards except for one on the last day so three of these all came from the last day yeah i had the debate yeah. of grabbing desire cards or not it's a but, it's a it's a right you have to think about it because yeah, you're that, like if i pick a desire i'm also get to pick last next day yeah so, like that statue with the stone on it was too tempting not to grab the desire card for that the, round the flower arrangement one that, i mean the flower card that you took yeah. afterwards that i sent back that was the hard one. That was the choice that was so hard to make if I wanted to go for that because I didn't know if I was going to get at least four of yeah. something. And I, I didn't feel like I was going to – I, I, I didn't th know if I was going to get as many tulips. And then I realized towards the end, I was like, oh, crap, I could have. So, yeah. Oh. So the, um, the spring mini expansion – Mm -hmm. adds uh, three cards that you get to hold in your hand and they're one-time use things that will change the status of the board a little bit. So um, you can trade cards that are in a row. So if there's one later coming up that maybe you want, you can trade it with what's in front of you Ooh. to um, pick, or you can even go back and get one in the row that has been passed up and was not there, oh. which I think is I was brilliant. eyeing those. <laughs> yeah, right. Especially because it always seems like you'll get a row that's like three purple cards or something, and then the purple scoring card will be on the on the bottom of the row, and you're mm. like, 
it could have been mine, but alas. Um, one changes the column, and then one allows you to peek at the um, one of the flip down cards. Hmm. So you can actually have a little foreknowledge, especially if it's towards the end of the game. So I think it adds just a little bit if you've played um, a couple of times before to do more, to add more strategy to the game. Um, and the rows changed. So we played on the four player. So it had four flower cards and desires underneath. In mm -hmm. two players, you only play with two flower cards and desires and then three. There's always just one okay. more than the number of players. So the choices stay small and the, um, the game flows pretty rapidly. So, um, oh, and then the solo is, game adds. Yeah, that's what I was about to ask. Yeah, it adds a crow. So the crow is trying to pick up really pretty shiny flowers while you're playing so you're in your garden trying to pick things up and the crow keeps stealing things from you so um as you advance to the There's game you crow? The crow card. <laughs> well there is so in, in that game if nice. you really don't want the crow to go you can throw the cup of tea at it to, to <laughs> throw to get it to fly out of the garden for a turn that is such something that you would do in your garden i know right you just like, yeah, get out of here like yeah, it's That's really awesome. fun. So, but, and you know, um, Corvids are very smart anyway. Um, it's leaving you stones behind when it takes something. It's like, here, have some rocks, right? <laughs> so it's super fun. It's a really cool way to play. And Jessica, our, um, our solo loving sales manager is going to be streaming a solo play tomorrow live on the Facebook page for folks to kind of check that out. But um she's already like mad good at it. So she's got like this really, it's another interesting balance kind of thing where you've got to decide whether or not you want to take the stones from the, the crow or you want to just try and collect as many cards as you can. So yeah, it's, nice. it's pretty, it's another really interesting one that adds, I think a lot more than just being like, okay, set it up and have a dummy player. That's not <laughs> fun. <Yeah. laughs> oh, and board game staff is here. Are we on now? We gotta give, we gotta give her a shout out too. There you go. She's awesome. Can you hear us? Yes. yes. No, we can't hear him. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> can't hear one. Or, or something happened on our computer. There we go. Can you hear us now? Yeah, we yes. can. Yeah, we can still hear oh, okay. yeah, That we've was been weird. able to hear you the whole time. I can't believe you were saying all that horrible stuff and things. Oh, no. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Um, I love the, I don't play a lot of solo, but I played the Kohaku from 25th Century. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I played that one, and I loved the feel of it solo. And so we're playing this one. I'm like, it has that same type of... Yeah. Um, achievements and things like that and so i i would love to play this one solo too i'm excited about that yeah i think the solo mode is is really cool i don't play many games honestly i only play the solo games in pencil first game so i'm familiar with the solo mm -hmm. um but i actually like the solo in this yeah if i'm going to play a solo game i just play a video game so <laughs> yeah i have apps on my phone i it's setting up why just for me but yeah i i'm starting to lean more towards the solo so yeah. a lot of friends that play solo games and they're trying to cheer me on and get me on. So yeah. Jared, Jared mad about it. oh gosh, Sheard loves games. solo games. Really? Yeah, he played um he was so excited he played um Under Falling Skies yesterday morning and he came busted in my room. He was like, I won. Because <laughs> 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 he's played it a few times and hasn't won. He was so so excited about it. He loves solos. So I think I would be, I don't know. I if, if I die in Skyrim and I forgot to save for 15 minutes, I would shut the game down and walk away. If I lost the solo game that I'd set up on the table, I would be like, oh, and now I have to put this away. I don't, mm -mm, no. no, we're just going to burn the room. The table. <laughs> <laughs> like Skyrim, Skyrim is just one of those games where like, I love the fact that the mod community makes it so you can have more than one um, companion that, that follows you mm -hmm. along. Like I, I had it at one point, I modded it where I had three followers and the dog. The dog that was in the game. Do you the remember dog's that, great. that quest? Oh my gosh! Yeah, to have that dog. Yeah, Lydia for time. life. That's my girl. That's my wife. Yep. You know, she we go back the... and visit our twin daughters. We we leave again. You know, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> she is she is the best house Carl in the whole game. So, yeah. No, so good. Um, yeah, Danielle, I agree. Light games like this are great for solo. I call them waiting games because when I'm like, you know, you're dressed, you're ready to go somewhere back when we used to go places, right. you know, and there's like 15 minutes, you can just pull something like this off the shelf and like deal it out real super quick, play, put it up and leave. So Jessica, during um, the first solo Sunday, she was playing Herbaceous. She played one solo game in under two minutes. So just like, yeah, that's what I want with like, um, autonomy and things like that, where I want this type of feel, Yeah, but I want to play it solo. So oh. I, yeah, I'm excited yeah. about this game. <laughs> and folks, for those of you who are actually watching, you can play this too 
by going to the actual Kickstarter. I put the link to the Kickstarter. You can back this if you like what you saw. Uh, you can also click on this link to play it for yourself. You can even play the solo rules as well on the Tabletop Simulator uh, yep. file, which is really cool. But yeah, now 100%. how much how much is this on uh, right now in uh, on Kickstarter? Twenty, I think it's twenty. Mm -hmm. uh, base yeah. game is twenty, and then yep. I just checked, and then there's multiple tiers where you can get this and one other game for forty, or get all three of the the games for sixty. Which is an awesome. With all the expansion, it looks like a really yeah, that's an awesome killer deal. deal. Yeah. Yeah, I've enjoyed the little mini expansion things like with the whatnot cabinet. I liked that one a lot. And, yeah. I, and what's neat is when I played this one, I had a feel of the whatnot cabinet and the order placement of who goes mm -hmm. first. I, I felt that, but I also got that nice feel of herbaceous as I was playing this one as well. And I felt like it was a good blending of the two. Yeah, um, and you'll notice that the the tokens are are kind of similar in in shape. Oh, and that's something I didn't point out. So even when we were talking about visual accessibility, even all the tokens are not alike. So you, if you can't tell that. what your color is your color is your does not look like any of the other ones so you just have to remember oh i have three rings at the bottom kind or of mine's the one with the yeah. small top or yeah yeah I yeah. Like it. yeah yeah so it's yeah beautiful. and um adding with the, the add-ons like a lot of people had kind of been like oh i missed the opportunity to back herbaceous back in the day so we were kind of like okay well let's just make some bundles because if you like this you're probably going to like that game too yeah. so that is yeah. so true and it is, it, I have enjoyed, was it? I think I have right here, if I just look over at this one shelf, I see all of the, uh, all the pencil first games, like 100 Tori. That's one that I've really enjoyed. I love Scott Caputo's work. And, uh, yeah. and of course, Herbaceous, Herbaceous Pocket, Sunset Over Water, uh, Heroes Welcome. Yeah, Skull Hollow, which I cannot wait for Mall Speak. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's mm -hmm. just, yeah, I've enjoyed the lineup and for, us as a family, for my daughter to as a teenager, she gets uh, excited when certain games like Herbaceous, Floriferous, uh, and games of that nature kind of hit our table, like Succulent from uh, was it? I think Su Succulent's what Renegade, but um, like yes. those those type of nature based games, um, she really enjoys that, and so mm. that is something like that hits the table. We're playing it. We're gonna play. Is I it think, fun our, though that the the all the nature themed ones seem to be a little bit more like competitive? Like, um, oh, I think yeah. photosynthesis and arboretum, which are both gorgeous tree growing games, and they're so mean. They're so, take that. Like they, they, those they trees are mean. Yeah. <laughs> but we, we we haven't played photosynthesis, but the one that we have played and we played competitively was, if I'm correct, what is it? there's another one? It's about the changing of the leaves. Bosk. Yeah, Boss. Yeah. We played Boss. I love that game. Bosk is so well done. So yeah, well I haven't, done. we haven't played that one yet. But oh, even like um, Calico is super think like it's a natural re relaxing game. Justin mm -hmm. sent that to me. Love that game. <laughs> I got relaxed during by the end of Calico. I am so on edge because like I've been trying to build this perfect little quilt around the cat and I failed so hard. <laughs> like, See, I, it doesn't. It doesn't make me on edge. I just, I really love it. I, of course, I beat him, so that might be why I'm just like, it's good. Nice. I, got this <laughs> I like that game. I also collect quilts, so. That oh, helps. nice. Yeah. That's really cool. Wow. Well, Chris, um, yes. did you want to give away a copy of Herbaceous to ever, anybody in the chat? Yeah, let's oh, go ahead. Or everybody in the chat. Or everyone. I, don't, I, don't <laughs> I don't have a giveaway bot set up yet, but you know what? Let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's go ahead. I'm awesome. going to... Let's take a look here. I'm going to take a look at all these chats that we have in here. Um, let me quickly, yeah, let me do a little something. All right. Um, well, Chris, do you want me to go in and do a quick setup of one? Yeah, that'd be great. That would be amazing. Thanks, Justin. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Justin has access to Nightbot, so it makes my life so much easier, too. That's nice. Because when, we do the, uh, when we're doing the next, uh, the next live stream, we're going to have a 20, 26 hours we're going to be doing for live streaming, and my mind is not going to be looking at nightbot or at, at discord that whole day is it oh. is it 26 hours straight or are you taking a break in the middle again 12 hours on friday and then 14 hours on saturday so it's going to go 12 p.m to 12 a.m friday the 9th and then it's going to go um 10 a.m uh we're going to start with pebble rock delivery service on saturday oh. and we're going to end it okay. with a one shot <laughs> D D. A uh, thing where you're actually taking a level zero character and changing them into a level one character, and it's a it's a thing called uh, the f 
think it's the Forge of Shadows from Mystic Dragon Games. They've they've come up with like a neat little idea, like oh maybe you're a baker, and for some reason you choose then to go towards the magical arts, or maybe you are just a common soldier and then you become a paladin. Um, but it's it's a cute little uh, it's it's a narrative like storytelling. Yeah, I know. I love that concept. That's mm-hmm. so fun. How did you get here? Like. Yeah. Why? Oh, the real that. story. Well, yeah, so you're, you're in a sense like you're creating your own story of getting into that role of making it to level one character. Now you are about to go on that big adventure. Maybe there's, maybe there's a small adventure or crisis that happened in your small town that changed. However, you are going about things the rest of your life, which I cannot wait. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so we're gonna. Yeah. Jared would want to watch that. He yeah. he loves. He writes stories for all of his role player characters. He oh. creates well, like he gonna... writes papers about the the backstory of these people. It's so fun. So that would be fun yeah. for him to. Do. Well, we're, we're about to we're about to do on Tuesday nights starting April sixth. We're going to be playing the Dobbers D and D RPG, and we're going to be playing that um, throughout the next few months. We're going to have. Jordan Hughes, Jojo Bailey. We're going to have um, Chelsea. We're going to have Justin, myself, uh, Jade Rogers from the House of Afros, Capes and Curls. Uh, and we're going to be actually, uh, our GM is going to be Daryl Jones from Splattered Ink Games. And he's going to be, uh, the, he's the creator of the Dobbers universe. And during that whole live stream, people can make donations towards an organization. If I'm correct, it's uh, Mercy House Global. Forgive me if I said it wrong. But every donation that's made will also influence the game. So let's say that somebody makes a certain donation. They can give a player inspiration. Let's say they make a donation. It could change a critical fail or a critical hit. Um, But it could also cause possible uh, immediate encounters. So, yeah, all of this is possible in the live stream. And the money is going to help out to um, fight uh, human trafficking over in Africa. Uh, and get the people that are going through that are being trafficked out of those situations back into civilization, being able to have um, lives that are independent um, from the organizations that put them in those positions. That's so, amazing. Yeah, it's it's going to be awesome. So every single donation during those live streams will go directly to that charity, which is going to be really cool. Uh, we'll have a way of tracking it and kind of making it a, a lot of fun. So anytime a donation is made, a little blip or something will come up. And uh, we will then do whatever the the DM tells us that we have to do. So, yeah. (laughs) All right. So, everybody, uh, Justin has put into the chat. If you want to win a copy of Herbaceous, type in the word flower. Not plural, but just flower. Capitalization does not matter. Yeah, go ahead. Plural will register. Plural will. Okay, cool. Nice. Very cool. Yeah, flower is the key. So go ahead and type that in, uh, whoever wants <laughs> in, uh, and then yeah, we'll see, we'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll give it, we'll give it about a minute. But yeah, so Anna Maria, what is next for you while while we're waiting for people to type in yeah. the word flower? Uh, I'm gonna sleep for a week. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, wrapping up a, a, a Kickstarter um, as the last thing I do is is kind of, it's a fun. It's a going out with a bang, as it were. Um, I'm going to take a sabbatical for the summer. I'm, I'm diving back into art, and the art world is kind of where I, I came from anyhow, so I'm going to do that for a bit. And then I've, I've started veterinary studies, so I'll start my second certification this fall oh, and sweet. start my externships. So I'll get to hang out at um, local rescues and play with goats and wallabies and anything I like. <gasps> wallabies. Yeah, there's a wallaby rescue in Seattle. I don't know why, but I'm I'm down. So <laughs> that is really awesome. Yeah, that's it. gonna be great. So I was a huge fan of the James Harriet books when I was a child, um, mm-hmm. and I worked at a zoo while I was in college, and I hit 45 last year, and I was like, you know, I've always loved that. I think it's time to go back to it so I'll, yeah. Cool. yeah i've always wanted to be a vet when i was a little kid and then never never traveled down that path and then we got a little homestead and so i'm kind of a self-taught yeah, we have, <laughs> little farm. We yeah. have performed many uh, a farm animal surgery semi-surgery <laughs> super glued chicken wing back yeah, together <laughs> Leaning in that direction, um, yeah. I would love to do. I used to volunteer at a farm rescue, um, mm-hmm. and so I think it would be a lot of fun to to stick to kind of rural areas and just go around. and And I'm kind of hoping at some point for us to get uh, 
a couple of acres and get some chickens and, and that sort of thing yeah. as well. So yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, those rural, rural, I can't say that, Um, just people that know how to take care of just even a duck yeah. or right. a turkey mm-hmm. or a rabbit or things like that, where it's like, it goes above my our, non-pay grade. Yeah. In <laughs> our vet, we have a really good vet who understands the difference between farm animals and pets. Yeah. And, and it, so I'll call him and be like, hey, Dr. Peck, dog got a chicken what do i do how do i fix it like because right. it, it's it's one of those either put it out or fix it so it's okay go get some super glue here's what i would do it and, yeah so we like and she lived we years. have, we have doctored so chickens are so resilient like, yeah. like, it's like, crazy yeah. but rabbits chickens. are not Chickens are the mums of the of yes. the farmhouse like yeah. you can do a rabbits. lot to them and they'll still come back yeah. rabbits are hilarious they're just like oh I skimmed my toe. I'm done. Goodbye, cruel world. Like, we had, we had one rabbit that we we went down to feed them oh, this and came back, you know, came back 20 <laughs> minutes later. Oh, dear. 20, 30 minutes later, and he had bitten the side of the cage and gotten his teeth hooked over it. Oh, dear. And just, and just gave up. Just oh, dear. within a matter oh, of like 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's <laughs> goodbye, cruel world. With like nothing else happened. He just died. Because yeah, he couldn't stra- get his teeth off the stra- cage. Yeah. They're just but we found like the difference stuff. between chickens and rabbits or rabbits just have no will to live when they're in a in a stressful situation. Animal, yeah, stressful situations account for a, a, yeah. um, a lot of animal ills from yeah. that. And I don't think people realize that an animal can get stressed out depending yeah. on its living conditions and stuff. So it's an important reason to make sure your both your pets and your farm animals are yeah. well loved and well cared for. Yeah. Yes. Yes, totally agree. Yeah. We love our little animals. Well, Aww. let's go ahead. Let's see who won. Uh, go ahead I... and roll that dice, Justin. Oh, what, nice. Who's who's winning a Beautiful copy of today? Well, Chris, since you kept typing in, redoing it, kept oh. triggering your name as eligible. So let me go yeah, make remove sure. My name. <laughs> remove my name. Chris, I'm, you I'm, cannot have a copy of this one. I'm sure Anna Maria already has a copy of it. She's giving it away. So oh. I need to check I've her back. I've got a few, on. actually. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. Thank well, you. Let's, let's roll it then. All right. Steph has won. Yay. Nice. Congrats. Yeah. Steph. If you can go ahead, go ahead and send uh, Justin a direct message, or Justin, why don't you go ahead and send a direct message to Steph, and then we will get a copy sent out to you. Congratulations. Um, For those who are still watching, too, it is uh, the start of the 24-hour Tabletop Live Network, uh, which is starting over there at Board Game Blitz. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and raid them, and uh, so if you're willing to just stay on, we're going to kind of let that go, and uh, it, what we're doing is supporting fellow Twitch streamers in the board game community by uh, giving them our time, whether or not you're lurking or not. Uh, lurking does help because it still helps them in uh, in the support, and it means something. And if you like what they're doing, please follow them or subscribe to them. They are definitely worth it, especially Crystal and Ambi. Oh, yeah, they, Blitz they is are, amazing. They are two amazing people. So, I will be playing with Benita during the Tabletop Live mm-hmm. Network stream at four o'clock. So if you're oh. interested in seeing the game again, or it's gonna, it's a we're rehashing and rebringing back the Benita versus Fortessa rivalry. What? So if you want to okay. see some real SmackDown, um, absolutely <laughs> check oh. that out because those two go hard. So yeah, I will probably, uh, <laughs> I will probably tune in just to say the following things: a taco is not a sandwich. <laughs> so. <laughs> We'll talk about that later, Chris. Yeah, we will. All right, folks. We're going to get going. Let's go ahead. We're going to start raiding now. And we're going to jump in there. And I'm going to click start raid. Uh, But yeah, we love you all. Remember, if we can gather at the table, we can do the same for a good cause. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 All right. It says we are raiding. Let's see here. Let's see. I'm going to hop out and leave Allison here to talk to you guys until until y'all end it so and i'm just gonna go ahead and lurk the whole rest of the time on here i'm just gonna leave my laptop up to, to lurk <laughs>